I also stated that New York State is defrauding federal employees. This is how it's being done. Federal employees, I guess the law has changed a little bit in the last few years, so it doesn't apply to every one of them, but it does apply to a lot of them. Federal employees do not collect Social Security. Social Security is in the pension. So all they receive is their pension. The, uh, with the federal, now, with the federal pension, so let's say again, let's say the father is to get $2,000 a month in the federal pension. He was in the plan 20 years, they were married for 20 years. She's entitled to half his pension. So what do they do? They write him a check for a thousand, they give her a check for a thousand. Sounds right. Wrong. By law, and there's cases Wallach versus Wallach, as a member of the Federal Employee Civil Service Retirement System, the defendant neither contributes to nor is eligible to receive Social Security benefits. And his pension therefore constitutes in part the Social Security benefits to which he would, have, would be entitled were he not a federal employee. Social Security benefits are not a pension and are not subject to equitable distribution. That portion of the defendant's pension that is in substitution for Social Security benefits must be deducted from its value. So if he would have gotten to $1,000 a month in Social Security benefit, if he was collecting Social Security and would have gotten 1000 a month, the 1000 should have been deducted from the 2000 which leaves 1000 which each part, she gets half of, which would be $500. So the, what they're doing is they're having, the five, having her collect 1000 when she should only be collecting $500. That's how they're taking care of our federal employees. And one other thing about federal pensions. Some federal employees have the pension. Some also have a pension and an annuity. you got to look into both because there is a little bit of difference. And you have to check out how they handle it, handle the annuity, when it is silent.